What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys another Samsung official accessory for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. This is the two-piece cover. I have the packaging right here. I took it out today. I've been using it for a little bit. I want to give you guys some impressions. I want to show you the packaging. It's very simple. Nothing comes inside. Uh, on the back you can see the two-piece cover. Samsung says it's playful and unique. I don't know if I particularly agree with that, but we'll get to that in a second. The next part, suction pad on each piece for an attachment. This is just a two-piece little snap-on, as you guys will see in a minute. I've got it in violet and green. Comes in a bunch of other colors for both the S8 and the S8 Plus. These do run $20 on Amazon. I'll drop the link below if you want to check it out. So this is the one for my Galaxy S8. I've got the Orchid Gray model here. So I went with the violet and the green. I want to talk about this from a usability perspective because I've seen a lot of people review this uh, cover and most of them were bashing it saying it's ugly. I happen to agree that it's ugly, but that's actually a personal preference. So you can make your own decision about how you feel about the aesthetic value. But I want to talk about the usability. There are a couple of features about this that make it worth a look in terms of usability. First, if you don't want a full case on your phone, because you actually want to feel the metal and the glass construction of the Galaxy S8, when you grip your phone like this with a two-piece cover on it, you are going to get to feel that nice Galaxy S8 build. Also, people can see the actual color you chose of your phone if you want to show that off. You don't have to have it behind a cover or a case. Even if it's a clear one, you've got the actual body of your phone showing, and that's a nice thing. Another thing, because of the way that the two pieces are situated, when you sit this down on your desk, these two pieces make sure that the glass sits on the top of the two pieces, and that way it's not going to scratch the glass on the back of your phone. So when you have it sitting on your desk, you don't have to worry about scratches on the back, which is something a lot of people try to avoid by putting a skin or a case on their phone. And then the last thing is that these two pieces actually do have sort of a matte, a little more grippy texture than the back glass. Uh, it also can help you if you grip it by the bottom when you're on a phone call, keep the phone in your hand a little bit better if you're trying to wedge it maybe between your neck uh, and your shoulder while you're trying to take a call and multitask. You have a much less chance of this slipping and falling and hitting the floor. And if you put it, for instance, I like to sit it up on top of my car's dash right there in my console while I'm driving, it's not going to slip around as easily as if you had a slick like clear TPU case. Uh, this one's pretty grippy. It's not going to have it sliding all over the place. You do have differentiated cutouts for the fingerprint scanner and the camera. It's not raised up a whole bunch, but it does help with the problem of making sure you can recognize where the scanner is and you don't overshoot the scanner or put it in the camera there and smudge up your camera. So that's definitely a nice thing. Some of the downsides to this cover, obviously, the phone is completely exposed on the sides here. So you've got your power button completely exposed, Bixby button, and you've also got the volume rocker. The bottom is exposed. On the top, you do have that nice and covered up, but a majority of the phone is exposed, including the back. So if you drop this, there is a good chance you're gonna scratch something or crack something along the side or perhaps the glass. There isn't a very big lip around the front. There's a tiny little bit raised up on the corners. So if you sit this face down or you drop it face down, there's a danger of cracking it. Um, overall, unless you drop it right on the back where these two pieces might save you, there is some danger of the phone getting broken if you have a drop with this. It's not a maximum drop protection case. It is very possible also, even though these are suctioned on, if you drop the phone from a relatively uh, high place, you're going to have a chance of these perhaps, perhaps popping off, then that'll cause even more damage. So at the end of the day, for 20 bucks. Is it a good value? For me, it's a pass because I would not wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. Basically, I wish that if they were gonna do it, that it actually matched the color of the phone. I just don't like the aesthetic value, but I do see some utility in this. Uh, if you don't like using skins and you don't necessarily like using a full case, this is somewhere of a middle ground where you can still get the nice feel of the phone in your hand. So overall, I don't think it's a huge loss. Overall, there's probably an audience for this. It's just not me. All right, guys, so that is my full review of the Galaxy S8 two-piece cover in violet and green. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy my content so I can make future videos like this. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. I appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.